a springtime Memorial Day is next week, and of course that means barbecue time. Outside, grilling. Look, there's nothing better for me. This is, this is my time of the year. And for me, the only way to grill is to go the natural way. Welcome to Casa Philips, Felipe, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Barbara's already rolling her eyes. Bottom line is, here's what we do. This is what I do here. Take a look over here. This is what you call a side smoker. There's no gas involved. All this is is hard wood fuel and meat. That's all it is. Over here on this side, this is where you put your charcoal. And you can grill over on this side. On this side right here, and you can see, I've got ribs in here, I've got chicken. I've been smoking this stuff for the past three or four hours. Very easy to do. And also what you can do with this, if you want to be versatile, if you have a big crowd and you just want to grill, you can put the charcoal underneath here and you can use this as a grill as well as this side. But for me, I put my big meats over here, my pork, my chicken, sometimes my fish. I put this here and I smoke it. I just use this side here so I can grill on this side and I can smoke on this side. The air comes through on a side smoker here through the entire contraption and it goes up here through the smokestack. It is just the best thing to do. Again, you can use gas, but for the most part, if you're really aficionado, you want to use hardwood charcoal. Now, you don't want to use a briquette. They're filled with chemicals, additives, all sorts of stuff. Hardwood charcoal, you can buy that at any supermarket. It burns hot. It burns clean, and that's what you want to do. I also, if you see here, I have wood here. I have oak, I have maple, I use this for my fireplace, but I also use this in here so I can flavor my meats with whatever kind of wood I want to use. Hickory, oak, maple, whatever. It gives it a different flavor. Over here, you're going to see something else. I love this. This is called La Caja China. This is where I roast my pigs. Now, you've seen other videos where I talk about Leroy. <laughs> this is it. We've had tons of pigs out here. You can roast up to a 100-pound pig in here, but you can also roast other things, too. But the pig is the king, or the queen, whatever you want to call it. It goes in here. I'll be using that later. And we'll be talking about that in other videos. But what we're going to do right now is talk about spice rubs and barbecue sauce. So let's go over here. And I want to show you the king of rubs for me. Now, I've been all over the country, and there are all sorts of different kinds of rubs. But this is a basic rub. You're basically looking at herbs here, okay? And you're looking at um, seasonings, okay? Very simple to do. This is a basic rub for pork and chicken. You can use this a little bit on fish, but primarily for pork and chicken. What you have here are six ingredients. Okay, you've got garlic powder, you've got cumin, you've got brown sugar, you've got thyme, Old Bay seasoning, and oregano. That's it, six ingredients. Now, what you do with this, you put these all in equal parts. It could be a teaspoon, a half a cup, a cup, or whatever it is, all in equal parts with these, with, with these ingredients here, and you've got your basic rub. Can you add other things to it? Of course you can. Um, you might want to delete things and put some other things in to give it a different flavor, you know, Indian spices or whatever. But this is the basic rub, and I'm going to tell you right now, <laughs> you put this rub together, forget about it. It's all over. Because what you have is a blending of heat and sweet with the brown sugar. And it just, just melts in your mouth and just comes together on your pork uh, and, 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 and your, your chicken. All right? Now, if you also want to do a sauce, you can do a sauce, okay? This particular jar here holds around 26 ounces of barbecue sauce. You take these same ingredients, a half a cup of each of these ingredients, and put in... 26 ounces of tomato sauce, nothing else, just pure tomato sauce. Mix it up, and then if you want to take an edge off the sweetness, put in about a quarter of a cup or so of white vinegar. You're on your money. But again, 
You season to taste, ladies and gentlemen. It's about what you like. This is what I like. But I want to make chefs out of you. This is what you need to do, okay? So you got that stuff done. And you see Leroy over here. Leroy is... <laughs> Leroy loves this stuff. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to show you something now. We're going to bring it over. Come on, Bob. We're going to go back to the side smoker. I'm going to take out a, uh, a half a chicken. And I'm going to take out part of the slab of these St. Louis ribs. And we're going to cut it, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. You keep your eyes on it. Probably put that on this. Lord have mercy, child, please. This is what I'm talking about. Okay? This is it. Okay? Now, the chicken and even the ribs look like, you know, they've got a lot of stuff on it. Black and, that's just from the smoke. But look how that stuff comes off. Look at that. Look at this. Look how tender that is. Lord have mercy. Look at this. Okay? This is just with the rub on it, okay? If you, if your lips and your jowls ain't drooling, look at this. Pink on the inside, tender, okay? Oh my goodness. This is what I'm talking about. And it cuts like down to the bone. I'm gonna tell you, huh? Mm. Hallelujah. Forget about it. I'm going to tell you what you're doing. I can't even talk. Can't even talk. What was that you said? What's that? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Bob, I don't know what I'm talking about here. I'm speaking in tongues right now. Lord have mercy. Yeah. Mm. This is without even any salt. This is just with a rub on. With the rub. Hmm? This is what I'm talking about. Let me tell you something. Barbara, tell me to get the now. Okay, Barbara, I got you now. Listen, listen. You put this rub on, you can use the sauce. Now, the sauce is not thick. So you may like it, you may not like it, I don't know, but it's, it's excellent. And you can use this on different things, too. Remember, variation on the theme. You can use this on, 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 on uh, the sauce, uh, say, on, 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 on different kinds of dishes, on fish. You can use the sauce also as a dip. You know? You can do that, too. The bottom line is, it's a stone-cold mother, and all you got to do, <laughs> roll in the eyes, it's a mother. You can bet your last money. And I'm going to tell you who's your daddy. This is a serious deal. So, starting off the summer, you've got a basic spice rub, and you have a basic sauce. The rest is up to you right now. I'm out.